Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Good, cold, Alaskan water. Yummy. I'm about as happy as a monkey wearing a top hat. And you say, why? I show you, I show you. The phone books are in, the phone books are in, the phone books are in. Remember that old Steve Martin movie? I can't remember what it was called. I got my needle and seat and little clippy and seal washer from Itco, Atco, Itaco, Itaco. I don't know, but there it is. Yippee! Now I can get this thing back together when you hear it run. So, the phone books are in the phone. Alright, so we got that. I got the carb in the ultrasonic cleaner. For the second dip, pull it out, blow it all out, get this carb reassembled, get it back on there, and then we'll probably stab the lower unit. Hopefully we're going to get to hear this thing come to life. -a. That's what I hope. So, big hello to all you new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. You understand. So. We're going to see if we can get this old salty abused outboard back to life. It's been a long road. It's been hard on me. You know, it got to my emotions for sizzle. But I'm okay now. We're going to get it, I hope. Isn't that pretty? Brand new seat. Got me a brand new needle with a brand new e clip. As Marvin would say, let's get it on! What Marvin would say, he say, he say, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah. Gotta figure out how to get that little e clip in there. Harder than it looks. Oh, maybe that's how you do it. Yeah, but it is. Almost worked. There she is. Yeah, we've caught all by Joe. Okay, I need that there that 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 thing. That, you know that thing, that that thing, that hinge pinch 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 thing. It's in there, it's in there. You got to bag it up, bag it up. Okay. Now since I don't have any Yamaha transom clamps, but I do have many Evan Root OMC transom clamps. I'm going to use my tap, tap this to the OMC thread, and then I'll be able to put the, uh, be able to put the transom clamps in there. And this is just aluminum. And I'm Little rabbit tabby 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 on there. There we go. I think we're getting there. 
think we're getting there. Feels about right, nice and snug. So, and what I like about these OMC ones is they have the bolt-on cups, cup washers on the inside. So I like that about them. Take this off this stand in order to get that, but I'm gonna run it all the way down. Get some grease on it. There we go. Then I'll take my chisel for chisel out of there. But there are my transom clamps. There are my transom clamps. Doing their and some clamp dance. There we go. Two of them on there. That's how I'm going to do that because I got a bucket full of the OMC clamps. But I don't have any Yamaha that size. So I just give it a quick tap. Then when I take it off there, I can put the cups on by bolting them with a 7 16 cents bolt. And but I'm gonna paint them cups first, they're kind of rusty. Or I'll look and see if I got some stainless ones. But there we go. One step, one step.
love to hold it for me. There's nobody over here. I know you can't see me. I'm putting in a boat. I'm a puddin' in a bowl. I'm a puddin' in a bowl. Here we go. Alrighty, so you get the idea. I'll be back when I get it. All the bolts in. Okay. I am getting there. I'm burning the midnight oil around here. Yeah. But she is faux shizzle coming whistle. Look at there. We got the. Now that's not paint on that lower unit, that's primer. I got, it. I got two coats of primer I got. After I sanded it, I put a coat of the zinc etching primer on there. And now I got it all buttoned up to the, the main. And uh, we got a coat or two of primer on there. I'll probably put one more. But remember when I started, this thing wouldn't shift. But now look at this. Get it where we get both. There we go. There's neutral. There's forward. Neutral. Reverse. There's reverse. Neutral. Forward. Neutral. She shifts like Bada. She shifts like Bada. So, hey. We're getting there. Starting to look like an outboard. I just put that uh, recoil starter on there to make sure everything was going to clear with my linkage and all that. And I did a lot of geesing. I geesed all up my linkage in here, up in here. Got my electronics all put back together. My spark plugs all cleaned up. And the carbonator back on. We're almost ready for a test run. I've been working on the bonnet right over there, getting it all painted up. I don't know what I'm going to come up with a final paint scheme, but I'm working on it. I'm waking it, waking it. Now why is my thing all crooked it did? You guys are all crooked it. I'm sorry about that. I don't know how to operate a camera. But, we are getting there, and it's late, but I got a few more things I want to do before I shut up the shop, so I'll be right back. Okay, we got to get that propeller on there. Before we do that, we've got to get the geese on there. We've got to paint it up with the geese. Make sure there ain't no fishing line or nothing in there. Uh -huh. Put that guy on there. Get me another big blob of the geese. Get it on there. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Lather it all up. Everything. Ease it up. On the poke poke poke, the poke 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 peddler. Oh, that looks good. Then we gotta put on the uh, nut. This other thing, thrust washer thing. washer 
And and then the castle nut. Straighten out the ends of it right now. See if I can get it in there. If I can get it in there. And snug, I think. I see that. I don't know if I can scrimp this like that, I might be able to get it. And I'll scrimp it. Hey, I got it. Got my car key in there. And bend them a little, just a little. There we go. We've got a new repeller on there. Okay. Now I gotta get these. far enough, but I can slide it over, probably, oh, I'm going to loosen that one first, <laughs> put it up on that one, and retighten this, okay, I gotta get those, what you call it, these, see I wire wheeled them, primed them and painted them, they look all pretty, At least I say I can do I say I can do it. Come on. Harder than it looks. It's a stupid little boat. And my big old fat feeners. Just get the damn boat started without kitty wampus in it. You know, unscrewed it out of there. There it goes. Alright. Now I need to get me a 716. That's what that be. Must have been going the wrong way. <laughs> it's a mystery, it's a mystery.
It had spark. It had compression. Compressiones, you understand us. I speak the Spanish. Well, it came out beautiful. You want to see a beauty? You want to see something that is just stunning? I bet you do. Let's look. My artwork on the bonnet, I just went with a faded, I started out, I painted the whole thing orange, and then I came in and just kind of faded it and blended it with the red and orange. That looks a little bit like what I got going on with that other Enduro. I just left the old Yamaha there, sanded it down a little bit, and did the same thing to the other side, but in the front, I left the Yamaha Enduro. On the back, it has the Yamaha ugh, Enduro 40, which I had to do a little touch-up work on. Alright, so, um, so it says Enduro 40 on the back. It just says, no, it was actually the front. I had to touch up this H. See how it's a little. So. So we got her all put back together. Some of the little touches that I'm going to show you is if you look. At my transom clamps and you look right in here I got nice new painted up washer compression washer cups there I got a nice new tilt pin that I cleaned all up and put a little anti-seize geese on there um, there's the finished product on my propeller and keel bracket. Came out pretty nice. And some of the other touches, if you notice the little vents down there, they, those were taken off and painted black to match the prop. I put on, um, I painted it a little bit different color, and I don't know why, you can't hardly tell it, but this, what it is, is it guards the, uh, shifter bolt and nut and all that's in there. It's a guard for that. So I put it on and so there's the finished Enduro 40. A lot of work on this guy. But now you're asking yourself was it all a big waste of time? <laughs> well this week we gotta look under the hood too first. Okay, let's see what we got going under there. Well, is that pretty or what? Got the carb all cleaned up in there. Well, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I got everything all cleaned up in there. A lot of work on this outboard here. But everything is righteousness now. This thing had set for at least 15 years that I'm aware of. Um, that I'm aware of. That's when I first noticed it was about 15 years ago. But we've got her all cleaned up. Looking all booked to full. Everything I got as much salt out of this engine as I absolutely could. And uh, so... Let me get some stuff. I'll get her set up in the tank. Be right back. There she is. Squeeze her up. 
Looks like gas going in. Feels like gas going in. Nice sperm bulb. Pull the choke. Make sure she's in neutral. Give her just a little gas and you're going to see what I'm going to see. Enduro is enduroed. It runs good. It shifts good. It pees good. Um, cosmetically, totally acceptable. Um, good motor. I got a few other little bitty, little bitty, little bitty, little bitty, little bitty, little bitty things I want to do to it, but uh, other than that. She seems to be a good shifting, good running, easy starting Yamaha Enduro 1992.
photo horsepower yam snatch. So she came out pretty good. A lot of work to get where it is right now. Like I said, I got a couple other little things I want to do, but I got as much salt out of it as I could. I don't think you could, without cracking the cylinder in half and stuff, I don't think you could get much more salt out of it than I got. Been sitting for in between 15 and 20 years, leaned up against an old house down here. I've been driving by this thing for, it, it, that I know of at least 15 years um, when I first spotted it. So now I have a pair of them. You understand. So that's going to be a wrap on the Enduro series here. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and uh, I'm glad to see that she came out like she did. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.